Welcome, agents. I've been waiting for you. So you've heard about Ingress, and you want to know how you play. <laughs> play Ingress. So you think this is a game? Ingress is a giant game of the capture the flag. Where you play a video game, but in real life. Ingress is like Foursquare meets geocaching meets... Giant game of risk, where the board is like the surface of the earth. There's nothing really like it out there. You actually have to go out into the real world to play the game. Ingress is not a game. The line between reality and a game and the story get blurred. This is the kind of thing that everybody's always wanted to do. Like, you bring video games into real life. In Ingress, you physically have to move around to play. Ingress is a GPS-based game. Portal in range. Everything revolves around your physical location. It's all about control and urban exploring. So you're going to different places, discovering what's called portals. Portals are the central part of Ingress. Portals are real world places. They're important places, usually. Places that have some kind of significance. They can be statues, murals, art, buildings, different structures that are interesting in some way to who we are as a people. You want to capture portals for your team. And there are two teams in Ingress. Blue for resistance, green for enlightened. Both factions are competing to control the portals. At any given time, a portal may be controlled by one of the two factions. Or it may be neutral. Neutral portals are gray. I want to turn them blue, the color resistance. Other players on the other faction are looking to turn them green, the color of the enlightened. When I'm close to a neutral portal, you definitely want to capture it. And by deploying a resonator on that portal, it becomes yours. Good work. Portal online. You only need to deploy one resonator to capture a portal. But there are eight slots in a portal, so you can fill it up with all eight. You use resonators to claim a portal and to strengthen a portal. A portal is fully resonated when there are eight resonators deployed on that portal. Did you get that? You use resonators to capture portals. Adding more powerful resonators to a portal makes it stronger. But how do you get resonators? Hacking. The way to get items in Ingress is to hack portals. By hacking portals. Hacking of friendly and non-friendly portals gets you the gear you need to actually continue the game. Resonator acquired. So you've captured a neutral portal. That's a good first step. But what if a portal is controlled by the other faction? That's when things get interesting. If a portal is owned by the other faction, you attack it. Fire. Blast. You want to smash it. Resonator destroyed. You attack a portal using XMP bursters. Bursters you've gained through hacking weaken resonators. As you destroy resonators, that will weaken the enemy portal. So, resonators build and strengthen. XMP bursters weaken and destroy. And how do you get XMP bursters? The same way you get resonators, by hacking portals. Once you've destroyed all the resonators on a portal, the portal is neutralized. And those are the portals that show up as gray, which means that neither faction owns it. And that means it's ready for you to capture, to put your name on that portal, to help your team. But you've got to be careful. When you attack an enemy portal, it will actually attack back. As soon as you try to hack them, if you try to attack them, they can definitely zap you. You've been hit. Are you beginning to understand? Capture neutral portals with resonators. Build them up for your faction. See an enemy portal? Attack it with XMP bursters. Now you're ready for your next ingress challenge, linking portals. Once a portal is full of your team's resonators, it can now be linked to other portals. Linking portals makes them stronger and is the first step towards capturing territory. In order to link two portals, you'll need a portal key. You get those by hacking portals. The key is the key. Acquired. This is important. You don't use a key at the portal that you hacked it from. First, you must find another portal that is controlled by your faction. 
Now you can create a link back to the portal you have a key for. If you're standing at a friendly portal, once you press the link button, your scanner is going to look for nearby portals you can link that portal to. You can link to a portal that you have a key for if it has all its resonators and it is owned by your faction. Now it's all coming together. Destroy, capture, and link it out. So once you've linked two portals together, you have an opportunity to create a control field. And how this is done is just by finding a third portal and linking it to both of the first two. When you link three portals together, you've created a control field. And making that field means that you control the territory within those portal boundaries. Now you have the basics of ingress. It's a global battle between the resistance and the enlightened to control the world. And that's all you need to know for now. Choose your faction carefully. Join the resistance. Join the enlightened. Download the app. And get moving. Chicago. In London. Was captured by the by the enlightened. Enlightened. The resistance. There are so many kinds of people, and they're always friendly. The community is brilliant. I was not a gamer before. I've made so many connections in my local community that I would have never made otherwise. You can hack it and then attack it. Attack it and then hack it. You got it. Join the resistance. We need you to destroy all the shapers. You should not join the resistance. You definitely want to join the resistance. That's a terrible idea.